Hi, this is Dr. Sanjay Kumar Chaudhary. I am a senior consultant neurologist at Institute of Brain and Spine, IBS Hospital in Delhi. Today, I am going to speak to you about ischemic stroke. As I have already said, stroke can be either ischemic or hemorrhagic. 85% of all strokes are ischemic strokes. Ischemic stroke can be of two types. They can either be because of thrombosis, that is the blockage of the arteries within the brain because of atherosclerosis, or they can be because of cardioembolic stroke. So the emboli comes from either the heart or the vessels away from the heart, that is the carotid vessel or vertebral artery, which can go on and further block the small arteries within the brain. So either way, there is a blockage of the blood vessel which supplies the brain, resulting in occlusion of small vessels, resulting in death of the cells. So this is a medical emergency. It has to be managed aggressively on an emergency basis. We have an acute stroke protocol in which acute stroke patients, if they come to us within four and a half hours, they are eligible for giving intravenous TPA if they are in a properly selected group of patients. If they are indicated, we give them intravenous TPA which can bust those clots within the small vessels of the brain and improve the functioning of the brain. They can salvage the brain and resulting in a good recovery. Acute stroke is diagnosed because of some symptoms like sudden onset, either a facial droop or weakness of upper limb or lower limb or any part of the body or a slurring of speech and most important thing to remember is that whenever you find a person who is having stroke, you must come to a center which has facility for acute stroke management. So acute stroke has to be dealt with in an acute emergency case. Immediately as soon as the person reaches casualty, we assess the patient, we do the routine screening blood test, we go for urgent scanning of the brain like CT scan or MRI brain or MRI angiography or CT angiography. We find out the location of the infarct in the brain, the clot location and the nature of the clot and then we take the patient up if indicated for IV TPA. After TPA, we manage the patient in ICU and stroke unit and Concomitantly, we start the patient onto neuro rehabilitation therapy for active recovery from the stroke. So, treatment of acute ischemic stroke is by antiplatelets and anticoagulants if there is associated cardiac emboli sources like either rectal fibrillation or atrial complications or atrial disorders or valvular disorders. After acute management of acute ischemic stroke, then patients are managed in ward with oral medications. Also, we give concomitant medicines to improve the functioning of the surrounding brain vessels and blood cells which are still able to function properly. After a proper investigations of the risk factors, the common risk factors normally we see in ischemic stroke is hypertension, diabetes, alcohol intake, smoking, dietary abnormalities and hypercholesterolemia. And we find out those risk factors and suggest lifestyle modification and treatment of the risk factors. And when those risk factors are adequately controlled, the chances of each subsequent stroke is avoided. Because of stroke, the persons can have 
either seizures or significant neurological disability they can have even uh, such conditions as dementia and stroke subsequent to the stroke so we need to prevent stroke and diagnose stroke rapidly and institute acute stroke management and after acute stroke is taken care of we have to prevent subsequent strokes and rehabilitate the persons who are with ischemic stroke